Hey guys, you guys, Process Cheese 18 with another FIFA 13 career mode, and we jump straight into the action with our first match against Arsenal uh, at the Emirates. And this match was really strange, actually. A breakaway almost instantly with uh, Gary Hooper, and you think he's going to shoot, but he tries to lay it off to Inzofia, who mucks up, but Chesney flips him over, <coughs> and we get the penalty. Back, Barry Bannon steps up to take it. Chesney is crouching in goal. Which way is he going to go? In the yellow. But he finishes it. Lovely. Lovely. And um, what a great finish it was. And we are 1-0 up in the fourth minute at the Emirates. Which is never a bad thing at all. And um, <coughs> break away again here with Darren Bent this time. Breaking away from the Arsenal defence. So has a shot. But poor shot straight at Chesney. And he parries it away and Arsenal get it away but Arsenal with another attack now I think I'll say Chamberlain tricky run but Given does well to say, save it but now poor back pass by uh, us there and Walcott goes in with the finish smart finish there can't do anything about it but it's poor back pass and that's how the first half ended uh, one apiece <coughs> Not bad, to be honest, to come away with this 1-1. Uh, Wouldn't be a bad thing at all, to be honest, with our current form. <laughs> but um, Zobbia passes it into Bannon. Bannon has a crack outside the box, is narrowly wide, and lucky not to go in there. But again, Arsenal break away. Podolski this time, and has a smart finish with his weaker foot into the bottom corner. I sh should have really done better there, but he was in too, too much space. I don't know where my defence has gone. But that's... Sort of, that's um, how the match ended sadly though we do make a break here but just a poor shot by Gary Hooper there he should be doing better and that's how the match ended 2-1 to Arsenal at the Emirates really sloppy match there but anyway that is in the past we go on to the next match against Manchester City at home who remember if we if you watch the earlier episodes we did beat 1-0 with a really lucky goal so we can see if we can repeat that lovely win here but anyway, we make a break almost straight away. Hart chips it over a bit and just puts Bent off his stride to put it into the back of the net. Great keep in there. But Ong Bong Lahore makes a break, hits it into the box, and Bent is there to finish it in to the net. What a lovely finish it was there. He dies on the floor. But again, we are 1-0 up against Manchester City. And it's a great, great finish there with Agon Lahore getting the assist in the box. Very, very nice finish. And... I was ecstatic at this point against Manchester City and that's how the first half ended 1-0 to us very 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 good at Villa Park let's try and make this into a fortress in the late part of the season but uh, Manchester City start this half but we get possession back almost straight afterwards and Ben makes a break away but Hart does well to get down to his shot and Manchester City come away with the ball but again, we make another break with Agam Blahord outpacing Manchester City's defence. And he has a shot with his weaker foot. And Hart again has another cracking save. Agam Blahord lucky not to score there. Bannon takes the corner. And Manchester City get it away uh, to relieve our attack. But this time Manchester City on their attack, their first attack of the match. And Yaya Torre hits the post. Oh, no, we Balotelli, I'm sorry. Hits the post very very lucky to get away with that but 90th minute now and last kick of the game Balotelli skies the free kick and we have won against Manchester City again we have done the double over Manchester City and yes you can see there dropped down to second now we are still sitting pretty in ninth uh, with 39 points on the board won 10 drawn 9 I believe and lost 8 but and you see Reading is at the bottom Norwich and Southampton but um, well, I really want to push the Euro positions because that's what I agreed with the board to do when I asked for the money. So hopefully we can get some form going. But obviously another big team in this episode against Everton, who are a very, very big team in um, on FIFA. They're very good. But Isaac Quenta picks up on the loose ball from a defender and Howard does well to get down to his shot. A lovely uh, finesse shot, but it is parried by Howard. And we get the corner from here. But a pretty awful corner, to be honest. <laughs> right back back to the back post, and Everton get it away. This is Everton with the corner, and we defend it a tiny bit, but then Fellaini's there to just head it above. He's always going to win those headers. We should have done, well, done better to clear it from the first ball here. 
but Flaney picked up the loose ball, the second ball, and he just, he, no one was going to out-jump him for that header. And we are down 1-0 in the 28th minute, but this time Dyer, our new sign, pass into Benteke, and he has a ferocious shot outside the box. Ferocious. And it was just unlucky not to go in, to be honest, because he's just such a good player, but the Dyer has a cross in, and he just slips, and Everton get it away. I think. Yeah, they do. And then Dyer again connecting with Benteke and Hooper goes round and a weak shot on his left foot and it goes quite wide. And that's how the first half ended, 1-0 to uh, Everton. Really not good at all, but we jump straight to the 90th minute. Nothing really happened in the second half. But Dyer makes a break in from his own half, gets a lovely cross in there and Hooper with a diving header, 90th minute equalises. What a time to score for your club. He's get starting to pop up some really useful goals for me now after starting a bit gingerly in the beginning of the season but now he's just scoring for fun what a great header that was and that is how the match ended and Zobby with a chance to go 2-1 up but he misses and that's how the match ended one apiece a great match there but anyway that is the end of the episode guys um i wish you a very merry christmas i won't be uploading for another week or so due to christmas i'm going away to ireland but um, thanks for all the support, guys. We've gone up with quite a lot of subscribers recently. But um, there won't be any, obviously, Monday matches or Friday picks because of the holiday period. But I wish you a very Merry Christmas, and so does Edward. And until next time, guys, please like, favourite, and subscribe. And please.